I am so excited to announce to you that now we have our own and special African Give community platform and this platform was built for you. So what are some of the things you can do on this platform? You can join our special forum section which is called the community of geeks and in this section we have several forums on the platforms. We have the Canva forum, we have the content creation forum and we have the digital marketing forum. More forums are going to be added but what can you do in these forums? You can ask questions and learn from other experts who will be on the forum. Another thing you can do is to create your own special group on the platform and in this you can add people, you can manage a group as if you are doing it on Facebook and you can do so much more in these groups. Also when you create an account, there are several things you can do, Okay, you can check your timeline, you can check notifications, you can send messages to other members on the site, you can check your connections, you can even have pending connections because when people send you follow requests, you would have to accept or you can also reject. You can create forums, you can check your photos and your albums, you can send invites to other people and you can also log out. <laughs> so to get started, find the link in the description box below and sign up today. Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic video inside of Canva. Today, we are going to learn how to present our Canva designs in a more professional way to our clients. Okay, so and the reason is when you finish designing anything in Canva, the way you present it is very, very important and this alone will let your clients know how skilled you are at your job and how professional you are because you don't want to be sending them Canva links. Uh, if you made a lot of designs in Canva, you don't want to just send them a bunch of links in their email. That's just so unprofessional and I agree from the beginning that's what I used to do but now I found out a way to really present my Canva designs in a much interesting way and um, it just makes everything easier for my clients. So if there's something you want to learn how to do, stay tuned and I will be right back after my intro. Before we start designing, what I want you to know is there are two ways to do this, to present your designs in a very professional way to your clients. And the first way is by using mockups. And with this, now Canva has um, integrated smart mockups into, into the whole software. So you don't have to really do things out of Canva. This is what we have to do. Click on create a design. And in that, I love to use the A4, um, you know, A4 sheet dimension or I like to use the 1920 by 1080 and in this video I have the 1920 by 1080 dimension open and you can see I imported one of the designs I made. I actually made a tutorial on this earlier on but this is just for the sake of um, this video. Let's say I did it for a client, okay? All I have to do is to create a mockup like I mentioned earlier. So I come to effect and in effect we have, you know, smart mockups over here so you can click on see all okay and once you do that you would see so many mockups inside of there all right and there are so many mockups but what you should have in mind is use relevant mockups or mockups that help to send the the the, um, the message of how the design is going to look like okay so there's a poster so it means that i would go for um some of the poster mockups we have in here so i just scroll down okay and you can see this is nice but it's not going to be pasted in the room okay we just scroll down okay so something like this can be used you get it it can be used in this format and can be used even with this and there are some blank ones over here also so with the sake of this i'm going to choose um this image okay so that our mock-up you know gets to be our design gets to be used in this mock-up all right all right so you can see our design has been used but the thing is this looks more of a corporate um, thing and it doesn't really send off the message i did this intentionally <laughs> you can see so it would be nicer if this was a corporate design but so since it's just musical we are not going to use that okay so i just re-add my design again then i come back into effect and i go back into smart mockups okay so here we are just going to choose a very simple um poster mock-up okay so there are these ones i love to use a lot with the poster seven okay so i just click on poster seven and it should load beautifully so that 
you know when i present it to my client they can see how this design is going to work or how they are, how they can work with this design so i make it bigger okay so that it's more visible and i can really let them see that you can actually hang it so you can see how we have this over here and there are several mockups when it comes to um having mockups in canva there are several mockups let me just add this image over here come into mockups okay i go into smart mockups so i click on see all and um, you can see based on whatever you designed just try as much as possible to use the mockup that will work with it okay so that's the first thing now the second thing i want to talk about is after you've added your mockups okay now the thing is how can your clients access the design this is after they've approved your design and um, all of these fancy things how can they access your design and this is what i want you to have in mind what you can do is you can do something very cool and let's do it now okay I press on T for text and I just put this here. Then what I can say is Saxo um, Tunes Design Template in Canva. Okay. And I'm just using this as if I was going to present it to my client. But if there's a specific name you been, you know, or there's something based on the name or based on what you are doing, you know, just rename it or name it to that so that the client can know okay this is for this and this is for that okay then i press r on my keyboard and with this i'm going to just resize my shape over here and i place it over here as well then i duplicate this okay and i say use this design or this template I can just say use this template okay then I make it smaller and drop it over here so this brings me to the second type the second type is presenting your design or presenting the template in a PDF format to your client okay so we've done all of this but now how do we make this interactive okay so i select this and i do ctrl g to group them and i now use it as a link okay I, I use it as a button not a link so i can go to the original design of the saxo design or the saxo template okay so i go into the original design and i should find it somewhere somewhere here so this is it i click on it and it opens beautifully in canva and i also made a tutorial on this just in case you're interested there's a link somewhere but if you go through my channel you'll find it so come to share okay and in share we click on the drop down and click share a link to use as templates okay then you copy the link after it's copied you come to your design okay and have this selected okay then click on this thing we see over here for link then we paste the link in there and apply so it means that this is now a button that can be used and we are going to test it out to see if it really works but this is just the concept okay you can design it in a very interesting way to impress your client okay so come to download and in download i would now save this as pdf print or pdf you know the other standard or something like that and you download your design all right now i have to just select where i want to save my design so i just select desktop and i can say template i'll just rename it as template and i save it okay so if i go in there okay so let me just now go in there okay and i can go into desktop and in desktop i'll find templates okay so it should show us a pdf so when i click on this pdf usually my pdfs open on my browser okay so it should open and you can see now this is a link so if i click on it you can see what's happening you can see what's happening it will open canva and you can start using your template so this is a very interesting way to present your 
um, your designs okay to your clients and it makes everything easier because sometimes your client may just lose the links they might miss the email and all of that so once you do this it means that you have the document so even if they are to lose it you can just resend it to them instead of now going to fetch instead of now going to fetch individual links of various designs you've made for them okay so i hope you found this helpful and i also hope you are going to use this the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i'll see you in my next video